that looking like Joe? Are you sounding uh, better yeah, now? Yeah, 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 well, yeah. this is a little too formal, kind of like. It's, it's like we're standing like. Well, we don't have anything to sit on. That's pretty cool. That's good enough. Yeah, this feels way better. Good thinking, honey. My, so the sun is in my face. Hey, Dave here with Saddleback Leather. Here's my beautiful wife, Suzette. 41. Hey, we wanted what we want to do is to kind of just show people behind the scenes of what's going on. Um, just kind of behind the scenes of Saddleback. If you like the company and you value what we value, then you probably like the same stuff. Honey, want to tell them about the tent? Well, we we're gonna have one tent, and of course, it turned into like three and a half tents. Um, yeah. It's usually how we roll. We're like, yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna stick to this budget. Yeah, we're gonna do this, and then it like quadruples. Yeah. So. We, we were in Africa and we went on safari in a couple of different places and we were going, wow, these tents are so stinking cool. This is, this is a newer tent than the first one I showed you. Um, it's slightly different, but it's still got um, the same sort of makeup, the same sort of design. The, the newest tent we showed you was um, with less mosquito net attached to the canvas. Now, why would they use cotton thread? I would think primarily that it's uh, a cheaper material to use, um, more readily available. How often does this tear? Well, I haven't seen this tear at all. Um, so I, I haven't seen it tear. This was probably a few years ago that it tore. Oh, okay. Yeah. To me, the main thing about a tent is that it's practically usable and that it can be cleaned properly and that you're, you've got an aesthetically pleasing product, light, airy, and satisfies what everyone's looking for in terms of protection from animals, protection from mosquitoes, rain, and the elements. I'd say I probably spent about 36 months of my life in a tent. This is my office, okay? This is my office tent right here. We have like a 10 foot deck in front, out, out to the front. It'd be overlooking the whole meadow there. It kind of slopes down. It's really pretty over there. And then we have, <clears throat> so there's gonna be a, like a bathroom right here, here, bathroom and shower uh, area here, to flushing toilet, all that stuff. Then from here over to uh, right about here, there'd be like a big divider open, wide open in the middle here. This is gonna be the kitchen dining room here and then my office is going to be this area right here so i'll have my desk here uh, i'll be able to look out the tent here through here so we're building a platform right now and then off the platform uh, is the tent so we're going to be living in the tent so we'll be doing weekly like life in the tent um, and we'll be talking about that and you're going to be doing what? Probably like how to decorate a tent because I know most of you guys live in tents and so you're going to want to know how to decorate a tent. So for those of you who don't know, Suzette is super great at decorating. It's like, like a tiny bit needs to be there. So this one, same idea, is uh, with, this is our bedroom first and then the bathroom with a little hallway, kitchenette sort of thing. And then living room, and then back where the guys are standing back there is uh, Sella and Cross's room. Well, some people actually think we know what we're doing, believe it or not. They do, they think we know what we're doing. We do not know what we're doing. Um, honestly, a tornado will probably come get this thing the first year we own it. So, no, we don't really know what we're doing. Not right now, Cross. And we may be wasting a lot of money, time, putting our lives at risk, but we think it's worth it. You know what? It's fun. So here at Saddleback, as you know, we like telling stories. And so, um, and so what we're doing is having the employees all share a little bit, a little story. And here's one from Suzette. Well, for as long as I've been married, my husband's been wanting to get two dogs instead of one, but I'm, I'm a little particular about that because of hair and dog smell and 
I finally gave in because my niece works at this no-kill shelter and she basically sold me on a second dog. She sent me this picture and she basically lied to me and said this dog was like, you know, amazing. And um, she told me, oh, the dog's probably like four years old and of course the dog's like nine. So the, first of all, the dog comes in, it's oh, ridiculously overweight. It doesn't know how to swim. Like there's not very many labs I know, probably none that don't know how to swim. But this dog literally sank when we tried to put it in the pool. So, you know, that's kind of gives you a glimpse into this dog, Mongo. So my other dog, Chi Chi, we have a routine every morning she gets up and I do this let's rub on Chi Chi thing. But I don't like to use my hands in the morning because I don't want to, I want to get my coffee and I don't want to smell any dog residue. So I won't use my hands, I use my feet. I do this and I continue drinking my coffee and do whatever. Chi Chi comes around, wants to get rubbed on and Mongo's like, hey, I'm still doing this. And, and I don't wear slippers in the morning. So here I am in my recliner with my coffee and I'm doing this and Mongo comes up and my big toe goes right into his butthole. I screamed, I jumped up and down, I started screaming, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my big toe just went in the butthole. I had never felt such a thing before. It was disgusting. I was trying to hop into the shower. Basically, if you wanna know what it feels like, you take a marshmallow and not a mini, like take the normal size, okay? Because this dog was big. So you take a big marshmallow and you don't submerge it and keep it in water, but you dip it. And then, if you wanted to, you could stick your toe in the marshmallow that's slightly wet. And that is what I had to endure. <laughs> I, I got to know Mongo in depth in ways I never literally wanted to know Mongo. It's a true story. So uh, anyway, speaking of stories, would you like to see a new way of eating chicken? Because you thought you knew it all. Check this out. Mm. Thank you, Father, because you give you chicken. Yes. Mm. 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 You can see the, whole, the full film called Life After Death. It's about what we do in Africa. Why do you want to live out here in tents? Because uh, I'll get to go on a big zip line and do all the fun stuff. Zip line? Uh, so also, we're going to do a, a storm shelter. So we'll show you how to build a storm shelter coming up here pretty soon. At least our, our, our shot at it. But you know, Absolutely. you can do a lot with, pa with toilet paper and paper mache. I mean, they make knives in prison and stuff. so. I mean, we should be able to do something with this. It should be pretty fun.